Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the upper dish rack track assembly in a KitchenAid dishwasher. It's going to be very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 inch nut driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new upper dish rack track assembly. This upper dish rack track is mounted on the left side of the cavity. If you are experiencing difficulties pulling the upper dish rack out or sliding it back, check the upper dish rack track assembly and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the dishwasher door. Now I'm going to pull out the upper dish rack. To remove the upper rack, we need to press on uh, four tabs or two tabs on each side in order to release uh, this locking tab. So I'm going to push on the tab in and uh, lift this side up. So now I'm going to press in this tab and pull up the dish rack. Do the same thing for the other side. Next I'm going to push the rails in, out of the way. Now we're going to remove these uh, caps. I'm using the uh, flat Vesco driver. We're going to have uh, to take this one on this side and we have the one on the opposite side which is identical. And slide that uh, flat disc driver in and I'm going to pry this out. I'm going to move to the left and I'm going to take this one out. Same way, pry it using the flat disc driver. Next, I'm going to use this uh, Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to take out uh, the screw on this side and then I'm going to switch the sides and remove the other screw so we can free the dishwasher from the cabinet. Now we're going to pull out the dishwasher uh, about uh, three quarter of the way out. I would probably, at this point, I would check if we have any free hoses there, like if they still have enough uh, uh, length to pull out. We need about uh, probably six more inches. Look under the sink, check if there's enough length. If not, we need to undo the hoses. So we're going to roll back the installation, so we expose these uh, mounts on the sides. To remove the upper dish rack track assembly, we need to take out four 5 16 inch screws. So I'm using the uh, nut driver, 5 16 inch. I'm going to take this two out first. So I'm going to open the door and I'm going to support the, uh, the track from inside while I'm taking out those two 5 16 screws. So I'm going to pull the track off the wall. All right, so and now we have this old track. This is the old upper dish rack track assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So now we're going to install the new track. I'm going to start with placing that uh, 5 16 screw into this nut driver. And I'm going to place it through the hole through the upper hole, and I'm going to use it as a pilot screw. So we're going to take this uh, track, it goes in this way. As you can see, there's like a front one is a straight down, and the rear one is kind of has like a notch back. So it's going to lock into that uh, niche. Align that uh, with the upper hole here on this track. And I'm going to uh, place that screw 
All right, and then I'm gonna tighten like real tight, just slightly loose. Now I'm going to install the upper rear screw in. All right, I'm gonna tighten it, tighten the front one too. So now when we have these upper screws in and we have the track secured, I'm going to install the bottom screws. I'm gonna lift the door up out of the way and then I'm gonna install this insulation back. I'm gonna pull it forward on both sides. And the top, and we're going to push it back in. I'm gonna open the door. Now I'm gonna secure the dishwasher to the cabinet using that uh, screw. And uh, I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. And now I'm going to secure the dishwasher on the left side with the Phillips screw using the Phillips screwdriver. And we're gonna install the cap here by uh, pushing it in. Now I'm gonna install the left side cap in, push it and it's gonna lock. Now we're gonna install this dish rack into the dishwasher. All right, so before installing that uh, upper dish rack in, I will explain you how that thing mounts on the rails, on the tracks. So these two pins will lock into these uh, two brackets on the tracks. The rear pin goes first down and then it slides in slightly. You can see that this is like a, a groove cut out here. And the front pin just drops into this cut out. All right, so we're gonna bring in the uh, dish rack and we're gonna drop in the rear pins into the cutouts on both sides and I'm gonna push it in slightly and drop the uh, the front ones need to press it down so it will lock in all right so we, we locked all four of them and now we can push it in and now we can close the door turn the water on Plug the dishwasher in and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.